<laughs> What's up, Cravers? It is your girl, Sandy. I'm back with another video. In today's video, we are going to be finally getting into our April budget and also cash envelope stuffing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into April, what April looks like. So for now, this is what my April looks like, this is what my April spread. So I have my different bills as due, paydays listed, everything like that. So that way you can see that my bills are pretty much spread out some but there are some bills that actually need to be eliminated so uh let's go ahead and get in further in here so i'm gonna give you a little overview of what i'm working with for so this month <clears throat> i did my april bill what everything usually is for april and then i go through and of course i do my paycheck one which we're doing today my paycheck two is down here cash envelopes this is already put in what my starting amount is this will be for paycheck two and my savings sinking funds so as far as how much per bill how many checks in total I will be taking out per check so this last page is left blank so I didn't know what to do with that yet but without further ado let's look at my overview here for April so I really like this whole color scheme idea is really cute um, I actually have this for uh, deco stickers for the Aaron Condren on my Etsy shop if you did not know so right now I've already checked off bills that were already paid and or stuff that was already paid for the month of April and I still go through here so we will have this video at the very end of April just figure out all my actual amounts if I saved or if I lost money and then for today we're going to be doing my expenses my savings and also a total for everything so let's go ahead and start this but today we are using I believe this was was it December I believe this was December box pen for Erin Condren very nice this is like my really like my first time using this pen and it writes really well and I love pens I'm sorry guys for the noise in the background it's very sparkly very nice I like sparkly things um, and it's very it's a gel pen and I don't know if it's a 0.5 or so but it turned out to be really good so for paycheck one I just want to get right into it guys for paycheck one for Amazon I have my Amazon this is this is my expenses that do not have cash envelopes so for today I'm going to be doing my Amazon which is $14 my acorns there's 15 my credit one credit card I've decided to put $60 on that. That one is my most highest one so far. My F Progress credit card is 45. And last but not least, my student loans comes up to 55. Okay. So what we are going to be doing is we go to my thought I was ready but okay so we're gonna go into my calculator and put all this in even though I've already calculated but in this case I want to do this with you guys that is a total of hundred and eighty nine dollars <throat> so I should have put a little total here let hold on one second I'm gonna put total here I'm gonna put total right there <laughs> so total for this one is $189 boom 
so there's all my savings we're going to do all my savings all the way down here so this is my savings how much i put in towards cash envelopes all the way down so let's see here so first things first i have what i'm adding to my savings at the moment because i'm only having a hundred in i mean 189 dollars Oh my gosh, guys, I didn't tell you guys the amount that I'm using. I got TV in the background. I got the washer and dryer going on. I guess I'll put this here. Okay, so the amount, so I'm sorry guys, I didn't even think that I'm working with for this pay is $1,143 is how much I'm working with. Then minus 189, I still have money left over. So starting with my savings, my cash envelopes is. So for my car insurance, it is, I'm adding $176 to the cash envelope. The next one, which I should have all this down by heart now, don't. My car note. That is my car note. Oh my God. I'm sorry, my car insurance is 80. My car note, $176. My phone bill, I totally flipped those around. My phone bill, I'm adding 50 to that. Daycare is getting, we're well, rounding that up to $63. Uh, my dog, which she's almost at her goal, she's getting $20. The emergency, putting 100 towards that. And the rent. Dorin is getting $66 for this pay. Then going forward to the other cash envelopes. Electric is getting 50. The gas bill is getting 30 because we are almost to its go. Water is getting 50. Grocery is getting 50. Allowance for the month. Now we are in a new month. I get allowance. Usually it's 100 this time. I think I'm going to do okay with $50. Prime, he's getting 30. And then I ran out of space for my toiletries. <laughs> I don't want to do this, but Total Tree is only getting four dollars. <coughs> Gosh, totally run out of room. You see how much room I left out of? <clears throat> so I'm going to say expenses is one hundred and eighty-nine dollars, and the savings. Is let's total it up. Okay. Yep, it says right, 800. Okay, so that's 819 dollars. 
for there. So with my expenses, how much I'm putting towards my savings, this total, here we go, 189 plus $819. Oh yeah, that is right. Okay, $1,008. So this is how much I am putting, is totaling for everything from this paycheck. Out of this 100, I'm, I'm sorry, $1,143. So, so another savings I'm going to put here. I didn't save. Hold on. From this paycheck, $135. I have saved from this paycheck. Phew. <laughs> yes, I know. So I'm putting $135 back into my savings in my I know it's kind of weird having, but y'all know the, for my cash envelopes, $819. Expenses I've paid out of pocket here is $189. And $135 savings is not too bad. You know, I'd have to, you know, spend my whole entire check. So, but put it back into my savings. And now let's go ahead and do the stuffing for all of these. And we're going to do these here so i'm gonna go ahead and get this all ready for you guys and i'll be back with you Alrighty, guys so we are now back and we're gonna be doing some cash envelope stuffing so at this moment i have these all in order yes yeah, so first we're gonna do the first envelope which is my bills and this one is the other i'm gonna call that the other for now i don't know exactly what to call it at this moment so starting with rents Let's go ahead and do this so with rent okay so the rent is getting $66 what's going on okay 65 all right so 50 65 66 right okay so so right now I have $140 in here 100 140 okay so it's 140 dollars i'm putting back okay here's the 10. i want them all in order because it would drive me nuts if they're not <laughs> okay <clears throat> so with i got my little calculator over here 140 dollars 66 this would be 206 dollars so 100 150 70, 80, 90, 106 dollars. So today is actually the fifth, and we're going to add 66, bringing us a total of 206 dollars. All right, the next one is water. So for water, we currently have 20 dollars in here. And for the water bill, we're going to be adding 50, yeah, we're going to be adding $50 to the water bill. Total $70. Okay, now my gas, I know my gas is not that much yet. <clears throat> so my gas is $30. So we're back at a hundred <clears throat> for gas. Two, three. All right. The next one is electric. So with electric, we are currently at zero. So with the zero amount today, we are going to be adding fifty dollars. There's fifty at the moment. I'm just going to give that a plain fifty. And put that right on in here. The phone bill, I decided to do another 50. So right now we have 50 for the phone bill. We're going to put in 50. And this will bring it to a total of $100. Put 50. All right. Oh, 
I didn't do that right, y'all. Hold on one second. Let me go back. <laughs> I'm just going off of what was said for the electric. So that was phone bill. The car insurance is getting, um, I was going to say 80. I'm sorry. I think it is 80. Yes, it is 80. Okay. So right now we do have 80 in there. Ooh, that makes me excited. So let's go ahead and put five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now let's get these bills in order. We got 50. We got ooh, 50, 50, 20, and two tens. Okay, cool. I had two for my last video, guys, because you guys know I had something extra. I did. I messed up. You know what it was? It was actually my... Um, it was my daycare like I don't, the daycare was off like the daycare had extra money in there and I was like what where does extra money come from you know what I mean because every time when you do stuff like this you need to go back and revisit and you know look at things because you kind of miss things and I did and I was still like what did I do until I sat down and redid these is when I finally figured out what I did wrong or what was extra or whatever so I was like oh my gosh <laughs> it was pretty crazy so, the car note, the lovely car note. Here we go. I should have did this one first. Okay. So, 176 times 2. So, now this cash envelope will have $352. The gold is $880. So, we got $150, $70, $5, $50. Okay. 150, 75, 76. So 150. Yep. Try to keep these in order as best as I can. <laughs> Total 352. I know that looks a little weird, but it's in there, y'all. It's in there. We are good to go for that. So daycare is due every week. So for daycare, we're adding $63. So 50, 60, one, two, three. Woo, groceries. Of course, I had to get a couple of things from the grocery spot, but this is getting a flat at 50. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's do two 20s and a 10. I think I'll like two 20s and a 10. How about that? Yeah. Kind of split it up just in case if I need to just make an easier run instead of breaking a bigger bill. So. Let's write this down just went grocery shopping yesterday so we shouldn't need for anything for a little minute but we shall see <laughs> some days you'd be like oh my gosh i have a taste for this and things happen you know so this is the first set these are all of the bill ones that i had so this is all yeah so that's one set so we want to put these back in here these are all updated, all in there. Boom. And now on to my second one here. Getting these two out. <clears throat> so with my second one, I'm going to do emergency. Uh, we are adding $100 to the emergency one. At $250 plus another, so that brings me at $350. The goal for the emergency fund is $1,000 because everybody should have a thousand dollars in their emergency fund that's just my start later i do want to um add another thousand you know what i mean and then it's like having a thousand then also having savings for at least uh, two months worth of bills and so i'm still trying to figure out my little flow here so i'm not like i said i'm not perfect at this i know some people will look at my videos and be like um girl you need to chill or be like okay maybe you should have did this instead of that it's okay guys I'm good with all criticism so um, <laughs> emergency is getting a hundred dollars so total three hundred and fifty dollars my son has taken the longest nap he has taken in a probably like two days I think he's like really worn out <laughs> so yes yeah, so hundred last hundred is going towards the pot so here we go hundred two three twenty forty 50. yeah so yeah it's pretty interesting $350 we are almost on our way all right 
good old allowance. What am I going to do with allowance? Starting with zero. <laughs> Four, five. I don't know, guys. And whatever I don't spend in allowance, I want to just add it to my savings because usually it's like if you have something left over, just add it to your savings, you know? All right. So we're going to add 50 total. 50. I don't like it when this whole thing is filled out. It makes me anxious. I don't know. That's just me. That's why I cleared some of these up because it started for the new month because I hate all of that written down. At the, it's just, I don't like that. I'm keeping track here. I could just, you know. So allowance was a, a zero. We're adding 50. And literally, I still have it. So we're good. All right. So the day I got paid was on the third the third yes the third today's the fifth so and you will probably see my March budget overview of how much I actually spend to actually start these cash envelopes so if you haven't watched that video I advise you to watch that video um, yeah so prime prime is the next one <clears throat> mr. prime time prime is actually getting $30 so he did we did have to go to the store and get more stuff for him like I don't know where the socks go but I'm like gosh boy I just need you to just have plain socks so I updated this yesterday 50 we're going to add 30 totaling $80 <clears throat> let's count 50 70 80 boom Oh, and he needed wipes too. So diapers, milk is good. Milk comes out of the grocery bill because he drinks regular milk, not formula. And clothes. So yesterday, yeah, I had to get some milk. I mean, yeah, I got milk, but I came out the grocery bill. He needed wipes. And um, what else did he need? Clothes, of course, clothes, like tops, more tops, more sweatpants. Like right now, I'm not getting any shorts yet until a little bit later. It's too I think it's too too a little chilly for shorts at the moment. <clears throat> All right, so anyway, <laughs> Prime, we already did him, right? Prime is 30. Oh my gosh, why do I keep doing that to myself, guys? Okay. All right, so next one is the dog. So the dog usually is $40, how much it spends to get her food and such. So we're putting another 20 into her thing. And the dog is good. So any cash envelope that you meet your goal at, you don't have to keep. Like my toiletries, I'm not going to keep, you know, adding to. I mean, if you want to, it's totally up to you. Me, I probably could add something else towards something else. But like I said, I'm still trying to get my flow together and try to figure out, like, not every time you're going to be filling these all of the cash envelopes at one time. Some people do. Me, I'm not. Once I get to my goal, that's it. You know what I mean? So, another $20 totaling 40. We are at our goal. At our goal for the dog. Pretty good on dog food right now. Her dog food pretty much lasts her a good month and a half or so. So, uh, let's see here. Here is the dog. And I still got money left over. What is going on? What am I doing, y'all? Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> I just don't understand. Why do I have extra money left over? I don't get it. What is going on? <clears throat> the go for toiletries is $50. And I needed that four dollars. Oh crap! I needed that four dollars for. Okay. What am I doing, y'all? Like, why am I keep having? <sighs> I want to put five, five dollars in here. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm like kind of frazzled now because. <clears throat> All right, so one, two, three, four, fifty-one. Oh, 
fifty dollars left. Why do I have fifty dollars left at all? What do I keep doing? Fifty, literally a whole fifty dollars, y'all. Oh, hmm. Seventy-five. Hundred dollars for the phone bill. Ah. Ah, I found it, guys. I found it, I found it, I found it. <laughs> I did not have the $100 for the phone bill. I was like, uh-uh, absolutely not. Mm -mm. All right, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. Oh my gosh. I was about to say, if I had another video like this, I promise you, I promise you. I was gonna be like so upset. <laughs> But it would have been fixed either of the way. Oh. oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. That is so crazy. <sighs> and you guys probably saw that, and I just was like, is this is me multitasking. Just doesn't work. How about that? <laughs> All right, so let me put these back in here. I still need to make a toiletry label. But anyway, guys. Oh, gosh. Oh, I need to put these back in order. Mm, mm, mm. So let me see here. Starting with emergency we didn't do anything for medical and we didn't put anything for clothes so I was about ready to like maybe I just got too much money out again like I don't understand uh, emergency oh allowance is next prime yep. and dog toiletries okay Woo. jeez you guys don't understand I was like oh my gosh not this again <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Oh, oh, goodness. I forgot to add in those other. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Put these back in here. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that would have been pretty bad. Like, girl, can I count or no? <laughs> I guess I can't. Oh, goodness. So, guys, this actually... <laughs> This concludes today's video. I literally, once again, frazzled as always at the end. But it's okay, though. We made it go. So, guys, I do want to thank you all so much. Thank you, Cravers, for watching this video. And please give it a thumbs up. Oh, and also, I meant to tell you guys, oh, I have a coin jar now. Yay! I got a little coin jar. Made like This was an old pickle jar that I had. And I made this out of my Cricut with a little coin slot. Made a slot in there. And saving all of the coins that is like remaining from the cash envelopes. So I started out with March, but right now, yes, save your coins. Save all your coins. You may never know. So at this moment, guys, I do want to thank you so much for watching this video. We are closing this. I am closing this out because once again, it is just so easy to make minor mistakes. I mean, I seriously thought that um, I was over, but that's okay. I finally, you go back and check and I'm glad that I checked. So, alrighty guys, over. So now we're just we're just gonna close this out. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. I will see you in the. Let me see what's coming up next. The paycheck two, yeah, paycheck two video. Um, but also do not you know forget that I also do plan with me's budget. Um, I do plan with me budgets and plan with me's before the pen videos as well. So those will come in between and cricket tutorials. So thank you all so much for watching this video and. I will see you in the next one.